It's been way colder this whole journey than I expected. Something just happened. The wind picked up and when you stand up here, it's warm. And do you know what town we're in? There's so Santa many, isn't there? Barbara? Yes, Santa Barbara. Mick wants to move here. <laughs> it's been really good being here. I'm Kate and this is my husband Mick. Our kids, Thomas and Bentley. We bought a 45 foot sailboat, Meraki, completely refit her, had a shakedown cruise, and now we're ready to sail to Mexico and beyond. These are my parents. They helped us sail to California, and now they're finalizing plans with their new sailboat to join us on the journey. Come along with us as we learn, <laughs> laugh, <laughs> I, play with, I play with boats, and explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. Beautiful morning out there. It sure is. It's really pretty. Well, today we leave Morro Bay. It's been an eventful stay, and we haven't really done as much on land as we had hoped to. We had that one day of exploring, and I had all these things I wanted to do, but just with that windstorm, we ended up being bound to our boat for two whole days. <laughs> yeah. holding the boat off of our bow still was rubbing the poop out of our boat. It's been different than I expected, <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna just day hop now yep. all the way down to San Diego area. Okay, are you ready to go? I just need to get some socks on. Yeah, I'll uh, set the sail up if you want to button things up on the inside. I'm more obey. Perfect dock execution, sir. Thanks. Sorry I wasn't running the camera. No, that's okay. Um, what an insanely beautiful morning. It even feels warm. Could it be we're actually in California? Look at the sea. Yeah, so this is us pounding into it. It's perfect. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. Hopefully no sick kids today. How you doing, buddy? Great. Ready to go? Excited to be in but we could do an extra night if we wanted to. I'm really, really happy with the weather window we have for the next three days. From Morrow to San Luis, San Luis to Conception, and then Conception to Santa Barbara. We're gonna do that in three separate days to avoid the overnight. Swells in the six to eight feet range, winds in the five to 15, maybe the odd 20 gust. And it's just gonna be really nice. Water's still cold, should warm up in the next day or two. It's a beautiful color right now. It's like a really, it's like a teal. Yeah, aqua type greeny with a splash of blue in it. We always have our fishing lines out. We've never caught anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the water temperature really hasn't gone above 15 since we left Victoria. It's been way colder this whole journey than I expected. I thought after San Francisco it would really start to warm up, but it just hasn't. But we are hearing that a, once you round Point Conception, the water's hovering around 20 degrees, which is still a bit chilly, but it's way better it's 12. than 12, which is where we're sitting right now. So we are ready. We're ready to be in some warm weather. It's beautiful out here today. Something just happened. The wind picked up, and when you stand up here, it's warm. What? We heard like a gust of wind coming, and then we felt it, and it was like hot air. <laughs> and the wind just went from being behind us to over yeah, there. Yeah, the whole day we've had it like, behind whoop. us or off our port rear quarter, 
and I was watching ahead and I could see the sea rippling and I was like oh there's some gusts coming but it's the opposite direction and all of a sudden whack and yeah it's warm coming from the south. It must be some sort of like thermal air coming off the hills over here. It's crazy! It feels so good! Yeah, it sure does. This is what I want to be doing. Woohoo! Stand up here and feel the warmth! Every time the wave hits us from behind and gives us a kick, we're doing about eight knots. Yeehaw! That was the weirdest little thermal gust we got coming off the land. We just thought we were setting up for a perfect sail and then it just completely disappeared. We've decided we'll drop the sails and we will motor to San Luis. That was awesome fun. It was really cool. We had a great sail today. Woohoo! My face is doing this like my mouth's up on the side. I feel like we haven't been smiling a lot the last month. Now we're smiling. Look at this. Look at the water sparkling. I can't get over how different the landscape is down here from home. Like we've gone from these lush green hills with rugged rocks to like desert. It's very different. Feel it? Yeah, it's, we're good. It's happy. Cool. Marvelous. Yay, our happy place on anchor. Yes. Singing songs were too loud because we wanna. We're finally in shorts and tank tops. Yeah. We are in San Luis Obispo uh, just for one night, but look at this sweet private beach we found. Pretty awesome. Place. Beautiful, isn't it? Good morning. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. It's 4.35 in the morning. And we're up and we're ready. Getting ready to leave. And we have like a 10 to 12 hour day ahead of us to get to Kojo Anchorage which is just on the other side of Point Conception. So today's a big day, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. To get around Conception, that's a huge deal. It is. So our standard practice has been to raise the main with two reefs in it for stabilization, even when there's no wind, which is the possibility today. We assume we're gonna be motoring all day today, um, but that makes it a really good day to round Point Conception. So before we even weigh anchor, mix raising the main, and that will just give us stabilization if there's swell out there, which is a little bit. How is this our life? It is such a perfect morning. The swells are minimal. The wind is off our beam. And look at that sunrise. Oh my gosh. It's really beautiful. We're not moving too fast, but it's sure comfortable. Sun's coming up. Wind vane's working. The wind is supposed to die in a couple hours, but we just really wanted to take the opportunity to sail while we could. Good morning. Good morning. Did you find some brekkie? <laughs> nope, meal bar. How beautiful is this? Wow, the color of the water, so blue. through our 10 hour day and the wind died which we kind of knew it was going to around now we started the engine and lowered the jib we were using our wind vane and we switched back to our electric autopilot and it didn't work yeah that's a bummer i'm surprised that the pin broke again that's what you think it is doing the exact the exact same thing i'll just have a look in here and see if the chain and everything's where it needs to be. So the chains are on as they should be. Yeah, it's the same thing. Frustrating. Wow. So we're gonna have to get a heavier duty pin or something if it keeps breaking. It's gonna be a long day of hand steering. Yeah, I might just try the wind vane. They say that doesn't really work because the turbulence from the water disrupts the pendulum. 
when you're motoring? Yeah, but we can always try it. So we're just running off the wind vane now. I've read that you're not supposed to do that under motor because the turbulence from your prop comes up and hits that pendulum and just upsets it when it's trying to steer. 20 seconds, it seems to be okay. <laughs> seems right, eh? Well, the wind got a little bit too light for the vane to keep working, so we ended up hand steering the rest of the way. We had to get our ghetto cover on for the first time because it's too hot. I've always used it for yeah. aim protection. <laughs> I quite like the way it's aging. It kind of looks like it's been tie-dyed. Bleached, mate. Ripping along at a whole five knots here, people. Well, there's a point behind me. That's Point Conception. That's the border from Northern California to Southern California. It's supposed to really warm up once we're around there. We were warned that it's a, it's a tough spot to sail around. Unfortunately, we have the motor going, but I would rather that around here than have our socks blown off. What do you think of Big Bad Point Conception, mate? Why is it Big Bad? It's supposed to be really rough weather around here, but... It's supposed to be the worst point or... Cape in North Cape. America. Yeah. That's why we chose a day where we just knew we'd motor around it, and that's okay. It's been a long day, hasn't it? A uh, long day. It feels like it should be a lot later than it is. Yeah, it's only like 1.30. <laughs> We've been traveling for eight hours. Yay! Ah! We're getting pretty close to where there was an oil spill. They call it a small oil spill, but it was pretty significant in my opinion. And we're actually seeing oil floating on the water here. It's devastating. And you can smell it. For the last little while, we couldn't figure out if the smell was coming from these oil rigs that we passed a little while ago, or if there was something wrong with our engine. But it's crazy how strong the smell is. We've since read that this is natural seepage from the ocean floor. It was pretty shocking to see and we're still not certain if this is from the oil spill or if it truly is natural seepage. If any of our followers have more information, throw it in the comments below. We made it. This is a really sweet anchorage. It's amazing how protected it is for how exposed we are. Well, there's no wind right now. No, I know. Look out there, that's hilarious. We got kelp around us. We tried to avoid, but then these little guys, they're huge under the water. They don't look like much from the top. All right, it's time to dig into some work, get some editing done, and work on our autopilot. I see you. What do you see? The same little cotter pin break? Yeah, just snapped right through. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. We can't keep replacing this seven cent piece over and over again. We can't afford to do that. Such a pain in the butt spot to get to. Well, we should replace it with something stronger. Yeah, I just don't know if I have anything on board right now. I'll take a oh. look. What a beautiful way to wake up. The surf's crashing. It's beautiful out here. Whoa. <laughs> It was quite a rolly night last night. I feel like I didn't get a ton of sleep. Mick and I woke up and went, is this more or less exhausting than just going straight through? We could have left Morro Bay and traveled for 22 hours and gotten to Santa Barbara, but instead we've made two stops to sleep at night. Is this more exhausting or less exhausting? I'm not sure. Coho Anchorage. I keep calling it Kojo because that's how it's spelled. But I guess now that we're getting closer to Mexico, our J's are pronounced as H's. So Coho Anchorage is beautiful and we had perfect conditions to be here. Almost no swell out there and no wind, but it was still very rolly. Yeah, I wouldn't come here if there was any kind of rough conditions. Good morning! It's not very cold out today. No, it feels pretty nice. good. It feels really good. 
You ready to go to Santa Barbara? Yeah, I am. I was just reading a bit about it. The Anchorage might not be the best, but the town looks cool. It's like a beach. There's a skate park right on the beach. Really? And like a, oh, the kids a park love with that. a green space, shipwreck park. Cool. And it looks like a huge big sidewalk area along the beach. Oh, that yeah. Might be able to go yeah, I've seen on. the picture of that. We're ready, man. Let's go. Well, the water is glassy. There is not a swell in sight. I don't think there's gonna be much sailing today. <laughs> but it's sure beautiful. My goodness. And it's warming up. Like yesterday, I was shivering outside at this time of day. So definitely rounding conception. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It warmed up. We're seeing some boats that are just a bit ahead of us lounging around in their bathing suits. So we're ready for that. How are we doing, crew? Great. Could this be a better morning? Definitely not. Woo! Well, if we'll catch I a mean, fish, it'd it be not, yeah, a fish or a sailing would be fun, <laughs> but this is great. I'm yeah. just always thankful for any kind of morning. Yeah. Is there autopilot on? Sure is. on the cliffs over here. We had heard there'd been some wildfires near Santa Barbara, which now we're really close to Santa Barbara. We can actually see flames on the side of the mountain. We're watching the planes uh, drop uh, the foamy stuff on the fire. Tommy, is it pretty cool? Yep. We've been watching uh, helicopters and planes dropping their thang on top of them. We just throw a couple of helicopters, we think. Drop a bunch of water on them. It's foam. Yeah, it's some sort of foam retardant. Is that right? Uh, like they get water and then put this weird thing in it, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's some kind right. of like foam. I think it makes it so that it it's like, it's like a blanket. Yeah, that's right. Good job, Unlike guys. water where it like smokes. It probably works better than water. Cool. But more expensive than water. Yeah. <laughs> It's like 26 in the air right now. We're excited to be in Southern California. Yeah. here there are mountains all around us and palm trees on the beach last night we dingied in and just explored a little bit we had heard there was a skate park quite close by and we found it it's like right on the beach so today we're gonna go in and hang out at the skate park because that's what the kids love to do so yeah we're not really sure at this point how long we're gonna be here originally we thought just a day or two but after our little very brief visit to land last night we feel like hmm we could stay here longer it's pretty nice anchorage is free there's no limitations on how long you can be here it's warm it was like 30 degrees yesterday i think it's gonna be cooler the rest of the week but it's still much nicer than where we've been in the cold and the fog so we're pretty excited to be here so we're really slowing down now because we actually don't want to get to san diego too early <laughs> And so we are not in any hurry to get from here to San Diego. We can even enter Mexico mid-November, we're kind of thinking. That would be a good timeline for us. So we basically have three weeks to get from here to San Diego area. And then we would trek it across the Mexican border and check in in Ensenada. <laughs> We're ready, Capitano. All right. Thankfully, we had some people tell us about where we could leave our dinghy, but it's super weird. Uh, you actually have to go under a pier, and yeah. then you tie up to the back side of a dock. Thanks, Tommy.
gentlemen. Little morning Lego session. How's it going? Good. The, the Red Bull race is starting. The Red Bull race? No, no, no. Well, not the Red Bull race. Just this guy loves Red Bull, so he's got co coffee cups and then he's got the flag. And where's my car? Oh. <laughs> it's so rolly in here. It is. How are you enjoying this rolly anchorage in Santa Barbara? Uh, it hasn't been too bad. Today it's kind of nuts for some reason. There's no wind. But, it's just the way we're facing. Yeah, and then when you look out there, it doesn't look that bad. So I don't really know what's going on, but hopefully it stops soon. Everyone's turned around to face the swell up now, but we haven't. What's new? Meraki always likes to do her own thing. Everyone is facing a different way. <laughs> anyway, we're just doing a bit of cleaning. You can, do you hear it? That's our, I, I refuse to call it a washing machine. It's a washing bucket. Try and keep up on the laundry because we really plan to stay on the hook now. And so it's a pain to go to shore in the dinghy with laundry. We do it when we need to do sheets and stuff, but if I can do like a little load every other day, then we stay on top of it. Hundred percent best place we've been to so far. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> it's, it's my favorite. It is Absolutely. really nice. The warmth does it. Okay, we're walking down like the main street. It's called State Street. Yeah. And it's really cool. I mean, it's like a Monday afternoon, so it's kind of dead. But anyway, yeah, the whole street is closed to traffic, and there's restaurants, restaurants and bars non-stop on both sides. It's really, really cool. We got to come back here in an evening and have at least one beer, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, I'll have hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Today we are just cruising Santa Barbara. <laughs> I left my longboard at home and I'm really regretting it. So we might go pick up another board so that we all have wheels. <laughs> and I can keep up with these boys because right now it's a lot of me just like running behind them. And uh, yeah, as much as that's good exercise, it's not very much fun. Anyway, we love Santa Barbara. Mick wants to move here. <laughs> it's been really good being here we got time on our side you guys love santa barbara as much as your mom and dad do it's pretty great here isn't it and there's our home just out there one of those boats every time you're away i long for you so much i can find my way Awesome. Yeah, that was sweet. I'm super stoked with my new board. Thanks, yeah, Santa Barbara. Right. Yeah. And what a place point. to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tommy, look at me. We're going to do a backwards mohawk. Is, um, do I'm going to have a mohawk? Ready? Yeah. Oh, no. Look at me. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, go. You can't leave. You can't leave. Oh, you have such beautiful hair. Bye hair. <laughs> that was hair on my head. I hope this is okay to be doing it in the anchorage. <laughs> it's just hair, I guess. Look at how much hair. Yeah, it's more than I kind of anticipated. But he goes all the way over there. Okay, ready? We're just getting the length off and then I'll tidy it up, okay? It doesn't look good right now. Do I look like that? No, okay, I didn't so go that short, I mean. I went way longer. It looks good. Your hair's so dark underneath. 
This part would make it look way better, Tommy. Mate, it's all coming off, hey? Oh, right, honey. Here. Hello, sir. <laughs> I scare you. <laughs> Are we getting ready to say goodbye to Santa Barbara? I don't want to. I don't want to either. either. <laughs> what are we doing know. then? Oh, no, it's we got to because of the weather. It's time. It's time to move on. But we've had such a good time here. We love oh. Santa Barbara. <laughs>